Splatterhead and Groby here. Yeah, what's up? A Nebra Nation, episode number 24. Are you sure? I'm sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we did the 23 and then the 22. Okay. Now we're on 24. Oh, okay. So here we go. And um, <clears throat> you're uh, you're listening to us. We yeah. Hope. We're, we're on the Crow's Nest Podcast Network. That's right. Home of the Crow's Nest Podcast. And Pillaging Podcast. Yeah, the Pillaging Podcast. That's the flagship. Yeah. Uh, no ledge, no which, ledge. Is, which is on hiatus. Yes, uh, ladies of darkness. Yeah, they uh, they put out an episode. Yeah, recently. they just put out one. Uh, blackout, blackout, blackouts had some out, and uh, no waivers. And no put wa- on waivers. Put on waivers. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm mixing up my podcast yeah. here. So uh, check out all the shows, man. You got to look for them individually, but you yep. can find us on uh, yeah Spotify. And yep. I no Apple Music, Apple Apple Podcast, Apple Podcast, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Google and uh, yeah, yeah, wherever you get yeah. your podcast, man. punch them up on Twitter. If, they're if everywhere. You, if you have a favorite one, go there, yeah, and type in the names of one of the shows that yes. we just mentioned. Oh, we forgot to mention one Inebranation, Inebranation, yes, hosted by Splatterhead and Groby, <laughs> and Groby, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes Fitz, sometimes Pots, sometimes Pots, but <laughs> nobody, always, nobody knows where they, where they are, they've been missing since the game. Always Splatterhead and Groby, <laughs> yes. We'll always be here. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we, we don't. don't e- we don't even know if they'll be around tomorrow for the game. We don't know. No idea. We have no idea what happened tonight. Yeah. So uh, anyway, man, that's uh, that's us, man. Our show, Anebra Nation. If you are not familiar with us, is uh, <laughs> is about drinking. It's about drinking. Getting. It's not. It's not. We don't like to say that we're about beer. No, we're about drinking. We're about drinking. And uh, so, if you're looking for a show. That, and we do review beers. Yes. But if you're looking for a show where the guy's going to sit there for 10 minutes focusing on one beer and s- smelling it and sticking his nose in the glass. and uh, That ain't us. That ain't us. No. Man. We're going to drink beers. We're mm-hmm. going to talk about the beers. Yeah. And we'll tell you if it's good or bad or ugly. Yeah. Or if we just don't know. <laughs> or if we don't know. We're undecided. <laughs> yeah. We, we'll uh, let you know. We talk about uh, yeah. We we do, we do drunk yes. news. We yeah. do all kinds of fun stuff here sure. on on an Eber Nation. Anybody podcast. anybody out there podcast world? You got weird beers by a cool brewery. Send us some. Yeah, absolutely. We're always down to drink beers from wherever in the world, man. That's right. We don't care. And uh, you we we have a phone number. Yeah, you can call in. You can leave a voicemail. We'll play it. Yeah, uh, that number is seven three two seven nine eight zero two five seven. And you can also reach us via email if you got a cool story, a yeah. drunk news story you want to send us a link to, or yeah. you don't feel like calling, but or you your wanna... latest arrest report, you would yeah. like us to read that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, send us, uh, you know. You, instead of Dear Abby, you could do Dear Groby. <laughs> Dear Groby, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my fucking advice. Yeah. And, uh, you can, <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants that. But. You can reach us. Uh, <laughs> the email address is inebrination. Yes, at yahoo.com. Don't forget the N. It's yes. not inebriation. It's inebriation. Inebriation at yahoo.com. Yeah. Reach out, man. Yep. We, we check our emails regularly. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, cool shit, man. Yep. And then uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's right. And uh, yeah, hit us up, man. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're your, we're your uh, two main hosts. Yeah. Um, and we're on Twitter and all that other stuff. Yeah, too. we have all that crap going on too. We got a Nebranation on Twitter. We yep. have uh, the real Groby on Twitter. The real Groby six six six. That's right. Uh, Splatterheads on Twitter. Yeah. And the New Jersey chapter of Black Holes on Twitter yep. and a Nebranation is and on Twitter. And Nebranation's on Twitter. All of us are on Twitter. We're all on Twitter. Yeah. All yeah. the guys from yep. all the shows and yep. all the gals from all the shows yep. on the Crow's yep. Nest Podcast Network and are on Twitter. And you could, coincidentally, you can find links to all of the shows That's on right. Twitter. That's right. Yeah. So And Instagram, go. too. Uh, today's episode is episode number 24, which uh, we're going to narrow down the... Uh, the final nominees for a beer of the year. Okay. 
and uh, we'll, you know, because that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to get awarded. Yes. The honor. Yeah. Of the Inebri Nation <laughs> Beer of the Year. The beer of the Year. Um, what are we going to send them? Chosen. We're not going to send them anything. <laughs> we're going to send them a bagel or we're something. We're going to send them customers. <laughs> yes, we'll send you customers. Uh, and yeah. those are chosen by uh, me and Groby because yeah. nobody else yeah, has participated. Yeah. yeah, I guess the other guys don't drink. So. Nah. Yeah. So, uh, no, they drink. They drink. They drink. They That's just... probably why they don't show up. Yeah. Because they, they don't want to stop drinking. Yeah. But that's it, man. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go into all that. We're going to the beers of the years, do our normal stuff. So yeah, sit back, uh, turn it up, enjoy the ride. Yeah, um, get yourself a cocktail. Get yourself a cocktail. Get yourself a nice. Uh, this beverage here, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good beer. Man. I got a couple of those in the fridge. You know? <laughs> that's a fucking really good beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're talking about ties to room together by Cape May Brewing. Cape Company. May Brewing Company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great beer. Yeah. Uh, but what are we drinking now? Uh, you have the can. We are drinking um, from Pipeworks Brewing Company, Ninja versus Unicorn. Okay. It's a double India Pale Ale coming in at 8%. And uh, it's good, man. It doesn't have a super boozy. No. I mean. I did. This beer is going to kick your ass, man. Yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good beer. I don't yeah. know where Pipeworks is from. I can't seem to find that information on the can. Uh, we've had the blood Isn't of it? the unicorn. Is this um, Chicago? They do a lot of unicorn stuff. Yeah. This is Ninja versus Unicorn. My money's on the Ninja. Uh, my money's on the Ninja too, but you know. That, um, that unicorn's got that big fucking rainbow spike, and I've seen weird shit like that on um, sex toy uh, things on Twitter. I don't know and what that kind disturbs of disturbs me a little bit. Yeah, I don't, and I don't know what kind of magic <laughs> unicorns have. So maybe the yeah. unicorn might fuck the ninja up. But uh, my my guess is it is Chicago, Illinois. Okay, because that's the only place I can find on this can that says anything about a city or a town. All right, I couldn't so, find that. But yeah, pipe the, works. The, the can art is by Jason Burke at Ink and Lead Designs. Nice. Hey, that's so. cool. They're putting the name of the artist. Yeah, on the I mean, it's and about, it is, it yeah, it's about cool. time. Yeah, it is cool artwork. Man. Yeah, there's a ninja. Too bad this wasn't a label can for your collection. There's a ninja with like the uh, the rising sun behind him. Although it's not the, uh, you know, it's not. It's more like a tattoo version of the rising sun because it's yeah. black. Um, and he's got uh, two ninja swords. And um, for a uniform, for a unicorn, the, it looks kind of angry. They did good with the swords too, because yeah. you know the ninja swords are straight. Yeah, and samurai swords have a curve. Mm-hmm. So uh, they did, they did good. Uh, they got that down. And the uh, unicorn has one of the swords in his mouth. Looks kind of pissed. He's, he's yeah, he's angry. Yeah, but he's you know, but he's colorful. Yeah. Yeah, he's got uh, uh, his mane is yellow and light blue and yeah, pink. Yeah, for somebody dressed like a rainbow, he's same, very angry looking. That's, yeah, it's the same color as his uh, his horn. Mm-hmm. I think that's a horn that unicorns have. I don't know. I think so. So, um, you know, anyway, I don't know. They've been extinct for a long time, I hear. So, <laughs> okay. But that's what we're drinking, man. And, yeah. Uh, right now, right we'll now. move on to some stuff later. But yeah, we got some weird ones. I enjoy this beer. I like it. It's very good. It's yeah. tasty. It's not up there in my beers of the year, but no, I could definitely buy and drink a four pack of these. But it's you know, it's a little hazy. It's yeah. A, yeah. It's not a. Uh, I wouldn't call it a juice bomb. No, it's not a juice bomb. No, it, it it's not banging a grapefruit or anything. No, but it's so. uh, yeah, it's a it's a good double IPA, man. Yeah. Um, very good. Um, so there we are, man. Yeah. All right. First I'll, beer. I'll hit pause. Okay. I 
right, that was the uh, bad livers, man. All right, Uncle Lucius. <laughs> Off the, bad uh, livers, man. off the off the album <laughs> delusions of banjur <laughs> cheers cheers to the bad livers and uh and danny barnes man killer yeah. killer stuff um so you know this is on the synopsis it says round table of booze so what have you been drinking what have you been doing you went to milk street didn't you yeah i went to milk street last night uh went up the distillery hanging out uh hanging out with gordon and lovely barmaids up there. Nice. And uh, I had a couple of weird drinks I never had. I had this one called Santa's Sack. Santa's Sack. <laughs> they, the names of their drinks are fucking top notch. It was man. fucking pretty killer, man. It had fucking like cinnamon, like fucking cranberry, fucking nice weird shit made with their vodka. It was fucking really good. And uh, I had another drink called the Crumb. Which is like bobbing for apples in a barrel of rum. Nice. So I that sounds the, like fun. Yeah, I had one of them, and uh, what else would I had? I think it's something else. I don't know. Some other sort of caramelish. Oh, um, the fuck. I forget what the fuck name of it is, but I had caramel, fuck a bunch of shit in it. Nice. And it was fucking really good. And that was a rum drink. Nice. So yeah, that's they make, they make- always a good place to go. It wasn't crowded. It was a nice night. Yeah, they, they, you know, there was just enough spot, people man. there for the tables, a couple people around the bar. It nice. wasn't shoulder to shoulder like it's been every fucking weekend for fucking six months. Yeah. So it was nice to fucking go sit there and fucking have a couple cocktails. Got to hang yeah. out with Jimmy the Cat. Nice. He came up he came up to the table. He made an appearance. All right. So, Jimmy you know, the Cat. Yeah, I posted a picture of him on Instagram. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. man. Gordon's fun to hang out with. Yeah. Hey, good dude. Yep. Mike wasn't around, I guess. But, no. Uh, Mike uh, wasn't around. That's so. all right. Yeah. It's all right. And then Thursday night, I don't know, watching the fucking Bears fucking Cowboys game, I was drinking the Jim Beam you left on my couch. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> then Wednesday night, I was drinking Yinglings and Baron Yager, whatever the fuck that is, some sort of... Oh, that's that honey liqueur? Uh, honey, honey liqueur. Nice. Shit that this one dude brought over there. He, all during, he brings it over for the winter time. And then, you know... We finish that bottle, he gets another one. That's, like, what we do shots of, because if we, if, if everybody there starts doing shots of, like, Jack and right. Jim Beam yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit like that... Then you gotta sleep at Mike's hey, house. You, we either gotta sleep at Mike's house, or, you know, there, there's fights, and there's guns. <laughs> yeah, there, there's, there's already firearms, yeah. so we don't need that, so, you know, fist fights break out, fucking yeah. arguments. So, we figure, if, if we drink this stuff... yeah. Everybody's pleasantly buzzed and happy all night. That's good. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. You yeah. can't get mad when you're drinking honey liqueur. No. You know. But I, this shit's like, I don't know, it's like 85% though. Yeah. You know. So. All right. That's... It, 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 it's like the sun, it, it's it's the sunny version of Jägermeister, I guess. Okay. You know, Jägermeister is dark. And this stuff is all bright and cheery. And it's like, all right. you know, the all sunshine right. version cool. of it. So. I haven't, uh. I got uh I got I had to buy some of those uh Cape May it ties the room together oh, last man, they're night. They're fucking so good though. <laughs> yeah. And I and I was going to watch uh, the Big Lebowski and I couldn't find my DVD. I was uh, like, "Where's my DVD?" Well, don't of the you Big have Lebowski? Plex? No, I don't have Plex. Pots didn't put it on it. He didn't you? hook it up for me yet. Fucking Pots, man. So, hey, Kenny you fucking, you better fucking straighten out your boy. Yeah, you gotta straighten out your boy, man. You yeah. know That's, what's his deal? Yeah, he can't be that busy. No, you know. So yeah, I don't have I don't have Plex. I you know I didn't want to rent it. Yeah, I could rent it on Amazon for like four bucks. I'm yeah. like, I don't want to rent. Sure, you know the Big Lebowski. Yeah. And so uh, I started watching the uh, the Romanovs. Oh, okay. Which is a, uh, it's weird. It's a TV series, but each episode's like the length of a movie. Yeah, and uh, but it's pretty pretty interesting, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, the first one was really cool. The second one was okay. The third one I watched last night, and it was uh, I don't know. Nobody wants to hear about that shit. Yeah, but, I watched that fucking movie you reviewed, Iron Sky. Did fucking, you? Yeah, did you what the was coming it? race. The coming race. Yeah. That was fucked up, brother. <laughs> that was fucked up. Yeah. I'm sitting there. I was like, I went the five minutes in. I was like, you know, 
I really should be doing fucking bong hits while I'm watching this fucking movie. <laughs> so yeah. I said, you're doing bong hits watching that fucking movie. I was like, this is fucking all right. Man. Yeah. 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 It was, I was when I told you to watch it. I was yeah. imagining that you would be doing bong hits. <laughs> it was it was some freaky shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a beer today that I wanted to grab, but okay. it was like eighteen ninety nine for a four pack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but you know we like themed beers yeah. and we like music. Yeah. And you know I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. Yeah, and I see this beer. I'm like, what is this beer? You know, because it's a silver can. It's uh, what Snuggle Butt. That's the is that the name of the brewery? That, um, I think so. Snuggle Butt or Snuggle Boat, something like that. Yeah. Um, and the the beer was complete silver and it just had a few words written on it. And I was like, what is this? And I picked it up and it said, um, softly spoken magic spell. And I was like, ah, I should buy this. Yeah. And then I looked at the price tag and was like, no, I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't. You know. buy this for eighteen ninety nine. No. But, uh, we got to find somewhere on tap and we can go there and have one. Exactly. You know. But, uh, Cool name for a beer, man. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Floyd head, so yeah. it's good shit. Cool. Um, Where was that, shop, right? No, no, right down here. Oh, at the bottom of the hill? Yeah, at the oh, bottom cool. of the hill. Yeah. yeah. What's the name of that place? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we got to figure uh, that out. We, no idea what the fucking name is. We're always talking about them. Yeah, I have no it. idea what the name of the fucking place is, but you yeah. walk in, the guy's getting the guy's getting all the weird beers, man. He is, so. man. Yeah. And uh, Groby's got them, keeping them cold. Too, yeah. So, um, but, all right, so next week... Is episode 25. Yes. I say next week. Next episode. Next episode. Is episode 25. Yeah. Whenever we get to it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to announce our choice for beer of the year. We've been drinking beers all year yes. on this show. Yes. And um, we're going to we're gonna pick our favorites. And I have it narrowed down to a few. We Maybe there's more. I may have missed some. But yeah. My, so I know we have Muckraker Beer Maker. Yes. Uh, the Netta. The Netta. Yes. All right. That's definitely on there. Yeah. That's a that's a sour. Um, you know what's all in that beer? Um, I don't know. That there was a, it's either nectarines or apricots. Yeah. It's, and and it's it's a local beer. Yeah. It's a local. It, it's it's hyper local to Sussex County. Yeah. Yeah. Hyper local. Yeah. You know, microbrewery, about as small as you can get. Yeah. Um, but that's a killer beer. Yeah. Um, and then I I've. I've got on the list uh, the Magically Bullicious. Yes. From Bolero Snort. Yeah. Which is a, a golden stout. Um, Based on Lucky Charms. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, this beer doesn't taste like Lucky Charms. No. Man. This yeah, is a, yeah, get away from the cereal the, 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 yeah. that it's based on a cereal. Yeah, this is a, it's a golden stout, which... Um, I've had a few different golden stouts, and in fact, it ties the room together as a, as a, a golden as a, as a, yeah. as a white stout, golden yeah. stout. Um, and very few have really pulled it off. Um, I think that one, and then all the ones we had in between didn't compare, and then ties the room together was up there in that right. range. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's so, how it seems to have went for me, because we've had quite a few golden stouts, and yeah, they just, you know... But I didn't want to add two golden stouts to the list. Yeah. So, you know, but we can debate. I think, I think Bolero Snorts. I still think that is. Yeah. Magically Bolicious yes. is, is, uh, yeah. is definitely, you know, a runner up. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, Long Island, these guys, man, they haven't made a bad beer. <laughs> no. Which is. You and know, they love us. Incidentally. Which is. <laughs> Well, I mean, why wouldn't they love us? All we <laughs> yeah. do is talk great stuff about yeah. them. But yeah. look, every brewery out there yeah. makes a beer that I end up going, ah, you know, yeah. this one's not for me. I haven't had anything from Long Ireland no. that hasn't been no top notch. Yeah. I mean, incredible beers. Yeah. Uh, you know, price point, you know, is right on par. I mean, yeah. for a, for a four pack of sixteen ounce cans is twelve bucks. Anywhere between twelve and fifteen bucks. Yeah. Um, down the street from me, they're twelve dollars. Yeah. yeah uh, well, down the hill is the cheapest spot in yeah. our area for yeah. for Long Island beers, which is yeah. weird because they're a smaller independent. Yeah. You go to the big chains and and the, the Long Islands more. are three bucks more. But 
I, I have an ad. All their IPAs are killer. Yes. The, the most staff is killler. The, the, mo- the most deaf, that was that was really good. Yeah. That I mean, might be on the list. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's tough because, you know, do we want to add, you know, beers, you know, multiple beers from one brewery? But I it's hard because yeah. I could I could literally put their Oktoberfest was I really could, good. I could literally put everything that I've consumed from Long Ireland on the a beer of the year yeah. list. Yeah. You know, I, I really could. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely going to put beach please on the list. Oh yeah. That, that to yes. me, that was, that's, you know, yeah, that's a phenomenal beer. It, yeah. It's not, you know, it's just a, it's a summer. Yes. You know, it's a wheat beer. It's yeah. a summer, you know, just, it's, it's something you want to drink all day long. Yeah. In the summertime, on the beach, um, the, the, you know they named it perfectly, man. Yeah, why? Well, I, I I posted that picture during the snowstorm. Yeah, with the can of Beach Pleased in the snowbank. Yeah, and they made that their story on Instagram, and they messaged me. They're like, she's a little underdressed. Like, oh, that's okay. She's the bringer of sunshine. Yes, and then they put on their story, 199 days till summer. Yeah. And there's the can sitting in the snow. <laughs> That's just a phenomenal beer. Yeah. I mean, you can't, there's no two ways about it, man. That's yeah. a phenomenal I, beer. Yeah, sure. And then I, the Dark Horse coming in for me right now uh, is from a Hudson Valley Brewing Company or Hudson Valley Brew, whatever the hell they call themselves. Hudson Valley. Oh, okay. It, um, Glycerin. Oh, that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. the, the, uh, prickly pear sour IPA. I mean, you know, I look at something like that, and before I open it, I'm like, "This is going to be a fucking train wreck." Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 that beer was far from a fucking train wreck. That was yeah. a phenomenal fucking beer, man. And um, you you're not going to come across beers like that very often. No, that's a uh, you know, when you when you get up that area, man, you get a lot of those egghead breweries, man. Oh, yeah. The these motherfuckers are like fucking, you know, they're like scholars and shit. And they're yeah. brewing these weird one-off beers like that. Um, yeah. Like that, what was that? The no particular brewery thing. It was that Peach Ghost we had. Right. And it's like some sort of pop-up brewery that goes to like different cities and then just brews a beer. Yeah. And then splits and goes to another city and brews a beer. Yeah. You know, and the one they fucking the one that we had, the Peach Ghost, was fucking killer. Yeah, you know, but you know, but that glycerin from Hudson Valley, yeah. that's on the list. And then another New York beer, man, that you know you can't even buy these beers. No, you know, and I feel odd. You know, I feel kind of like wrong for even putting this on the list since you can't, you can't get this beer. It, well, of, I mean, you can probably locally to the brewery. Only there. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. No, you can't buy cans of it. You can't buy bottles of it. No. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. I know you, who you're talking you, about. You can only go into the brewery, and it, let me tell you something. You gotta be. It's you gotta put some effort into going there yeah. because it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Where, you know, even if you live locally, it's still the middle of nowhere. You're driving 25 <laughs> minutes yeah. to get there. Oh. In that area, it's, man. It's on a farm. <laughs> you better not need an ambulance. But I'm, 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 I take an hour. It's got to be on the list. Man. Yeah, it has to be. Yes. And 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 so you know, Crazy Willie's Brewery. <laughs> I knew you're. Yes. That cucumber saison, man. That was really fucking good. That's oh, just. Oh yes, it was. Look, if if you find yourself in Central New York. <laughs> Somewhere around Herkimer. Yeah, somewhere around Herkimer, north of Albany. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's it, it's a fucking phenomenal beer, man. Yeah. And the guy brewing the beer has never tasted it. <laughs> he don't even drink beer. He doesn't drink yes. beer. <laughs> doesn't taste his beers. <laughs> he made this damn cucumber saison, and, I, and it's got to be on the list, man. I, it it yeah. has to be. You know, I, yeah, I think I, so. I mean, the, the strawberry rhubarb. Yeah, the strawberry <laughs> rhubarb was right there. I like that. I, I actually like that better than the, than the cucumber. I, I mean, it, it's right. tough, though. It's yeah. a tough call. Like, which, yeah. you, know, you know, again, 
So any other beers from you that need to go on the list? I mean, you Cape, know, May, Cape May Brewing Company, Devil's Reach. Oh, Devil's Reach has to be on there. Uh, this Belgian ale they make, is it's 8.5%. Yeah. And the shit goes down like you're drinking PBRs. It does. It, ta- it tastes like a 4.5% beer. Yeah. It's dangerous. You drink a six pack and, and you know. It doesn't taste like PBR. No, a six pack will run you 12 bucks. So don't, not, don't get us wrong. It does not taste no, like PBR. No, it doesn't the, taste like PBR. They go chiller. down like PBR. Yeah. You know, it's like you can drink these things and not even pay attention. Yeah. You know, and you know, a six pack will run you 12 bucks. Yeah. But <coughs> when you're done with that six pack, you are going to be fucked up. Yeah, you know, really seriously fucked. Yeah, up. I can I can speak from experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's I mean to me that's that that's good. Um, when they have a ship bottom, I had um, the Great Wit Shark. Yeah, it, it, or no, Mary Lee. Mary Lee was from from Ship Bottom. That was like a like a says like a farmhouse saison. That was really good. Um, you can get that in cans and stuff and growlers at the brewery. Yeah, you know, I don't know how wide far yeah. reaching Ship Bottom Brewery is, but I know they're all over Jersey, PA. You can get them in New York, Delaware, yeah. Maryland. So um I don't know, they're about the only two that, that stand out to me at this point. Ties the room together, I like that. Yeah, I think we um, have to add it. Yeah. Yeah. So we got two from Cape you know. We gotta add most stuff. Yeah, most deaf. You know, so we got a couple from Long Island. We got yeah. a couple from, you know, and uh, I could add more from. Oh, Bo- um, I will say uh, Jersey Girl, Tip the Porter. Yeah, Tip the Porter is amazing. Jersey Girl, Tip the Porter is really good. That yeah. was that was like a limited edition release. I You can get it at the brewery, but I think they just. Yeah. It was a limited edition thing in cans. Yeah. So. Yep. I think that's where we are, man. Yeah. I think that's our list. That's where we're at right now. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, we play by our own rules. So when we mm-hmm. announce the winner next week, you know, it might we, be none of these beers. We could have, <laughs> we could have tasted something in between to, yes. here and there. Yes. That, uh, or remembered something else. Yeah. Or remembered know? something yeah. else. Uh, cause you cause know, we, we don't write this shit down. So, you know, uh, remember those beers I brought back from Easton? For, oh, um, yeah. The Separat- separatist. Separatist. The yes. separatist beer project. Yeah. They were good, but I don't know which ones they were. No, but I could look that up. Yeah. And then, not to mention that, uh, you know, how about the beers that Potts brought back? Oh, from uh, Backshore. Backshore. Yeah. Man. I got to add that, uh, what was the, the Top Gun themed? Uh, I got the label. Yeah. But that beer yeah, is... Yeah, Danger Zone. Danger Zone. Yeah, that was a stout, an Imperial stout. That, yeah. that beer yeah. is going on the list. Yeah. I don't think that was the Imperial stout. No, I... No. I, don't I got... I'll, I'll look. Yeah. But... I like their Boardwalk Blonde. He came yeah. back with that kid. That, that was really good. Yeah. You know? But... But... For a Blonde Ale, and it was like 6.5%. Yeah. That was fucking really good, man. So... You know, we yeah. got to throw those guys yeah. into the mix. Too. Yeah, Backshore Brewery, incidentally, is on the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland. Yeah. So you can literally sit there, hanging out, drinking beers all day, and the ocean's right in front of you. Yeah. And they put your flight on a skateboard, and they fling it down the bar at you. Nice. <laughs> so. so right now, that's where we stand. But yeah. like I said, we'll, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna pick a winner next week, which is going to be hard. Yeah. You know, we can't. I'd like to be able to actually drink these beers. I think we're going to have to get Potsy in on this. Yeah. Because Potsy's been here most of the time. Yeah. You know, not Fitz. Well, let's see if we can get him. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to have to get Potts or at least call in, you know, yeah. with, with his shit. So, But, but it's got to be by next week. Yeah. We, we've set episode 25 yeah. unless we decide fuck yeah. it and do an episode 24 well, and a half. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but I'd imagine Potsy will be at the game with us tomorrow. So we can always like corral him and say, okay, beers of the year, motherfucker, that we drank on the show. Yep. You know, you know, personally, I like the beers of the year. That, you know, we were getting all that daddy bow, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because we, we had those shipments of natty bow. Yeah, in. that's right. <laughs> but you know, natty bow's not making the list. No, natty bow's not making the list, man. You know, you know. Neither, is, neither is Narragansett. No, uh, we, no, none we, of them. We appreciate. Yeah. The beers, <laughs> yeah, you know, for our own reasons and yeah. all, but uh, 
All right, but so that's our list, man. You know, anybody out there in Chicagoland, oh, Full Metal Mexican. Fuck. That's right. You're near Chi Town while you're in fucking Illinois. Why is he in Illinois? Because <laughs> that's where he moved, man. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's not in fucking LA anymore. He ain't, okay. a, Calif- he ain't a California boy. He's one of those fucking. Lino, you know, brother. He's a Midwesterner now, man. We're looking man. for some beers. We, uh, we send us old style, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're we're going to have a Frank Gallagher episode where we're going to pound old style. That's right. Fucking pass out in the ground. Every, every fucking episode's a Frank Gallagher episode. <laughs> that's our life. Yeah. So, so uh, but yeah, man, send us some of those fucking old styles, brother. I hey, I got you know? friends in Chicago too. All right, gotta yeah, reach out. yeah. Because you know, I can't. I've checked several places, and they're like, "No, we can't get it. No, we can't." It's like the fucking Natty Boat thing. Fucking Natty Boat's like an hour and a half from here, but you can't get it up here. You know? Yeah. So, all right. You know what? Let's take a break. Okay. was the fucking Tokyo skunks. <laughs> fucking Japanese bluegrass. Japanese man. fucking... <laughs>
bluegrass, psychobilly, yes. fucking crazy That's, shit. It's man. cool. Tokyo man. Skunks are fucking killer. Yeah. Man. Great band. Um, on my, on on the top of my list. So uh, anyway, we're back. We had a little break. Let you listen to some uh, cool music from Japan that you probably never heard of, and uh, there'll probably be more cool music. Oh Before yeah, we're done. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. We'll throw some stuff at you. Yeah. So, uh, what are we drinking, man? Um, we are drinking Harpoon Brewing Company, uh, Dunkin' Donuts Porter, and it's fucking good, man. <laughs> yes, uh, made with Dunkin' Donuts coffee, supposedly. And uh, Harpoon Brewing Company is from somewhere in Massachusetts. So okay. this is basically this is an East Coast North, Northeast yeah. centric beer, being you know Dunkin' Donuts is prevalent up here and not really any place else in the United States. No, not really. You know, East, you know, but, Eastern United States, they, I would guess. They have them. Like, we, yeah, we got a Dunkin' Donuts in downtown Seattle. And, oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Because I was out in the Midwest, like Tulsa and yeah, shit like that. A, they're, they're, they're not like they're, they are here. Man. They're not. They, they, nobody's ever heard of them. Yeah. There, so. Yeah. You know, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I've seen this beer a bunch of times. Like I've seen it advertised. Um, I've seen it, you know, advertised in cans. I've never come across it in New Jersey. Happened to go down to pick up a couple growlers of stuff today, and uh, there it was. There it was. So I grabbed the growler of it. Man. Fucking tasty, man. Yeah. Very good porter. Yeah. Um, next one I want to try, I want to try the Wawa one, yeah, yeah. which is, you know, that's heavily East Coast centric, Yeah, but Wawa has a beer, but supposedly right now you can only get it at a couple of Wawa's down in the Philadelphia region. Okay. And I guess it's in cans or, I, or maybe you can just get growlers, but only at a select South, few South Jersey retail All right, well, places. So we'll have to, uh, we, we, but yeah, we, we go to South Jersey. Yeah. So I'm going to have to look there. for it down there. Anybody down in South Jersey, hey, man, run us up a growler. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. Philly area. Philly. Yeah. You know. So I got to turn the light on. Okay. There you go. Doesn't help much. No. It's not very bright. No. But uh, let's do drunk news. Okay. I'll read one and I'll give you the next one. All right. So uh, here we go, man. Ancient drunk gorillas. <laughs> Are the reason you can tolerate booze today. <laughs> I always love gorillas, man. Yeah. <laughs> so a couple couple key points. Uh, apes may have survived because of their evolved tolerance for alcohol. Okay. I believe that. If you see somebody shits these fucking primates fucking do. Yeah. Then um, you know they're drunk. Um, an evolutionary bottleneck 10 million years ago separated monkeys who can eat unripe fruit and apes who discovered that they could survive on fermented overripe fruit. Okay. Um, while some animals are affected by alcohol, most avoid it as a matter of preference. Not us fucking primates. No. We're um, drinking that shit. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, uh, unlike your uh, one buddy who always gets in, uh, gets in brawls when he's drunk, consuming alcohol may have helped apes to survive an existential threat. A new book from Oxford University tackles the history of alcohol use from its earliest beginnings when great apes were likely forced by circumstance into eating fermented fruit they found on the ground. An important distinction separated ape populations and monkey populations 10 million years ago when this behavior is thought to have begun. Monkeys and, uh, you know, yeah, monkeys like spider monkeys, macaws, uh, marmosets, they could eat and digest unripe fruit, meaning that they could they could get enough calories even from the tough and fibrous stuff. If humans ate these fruits, they'd likely uh, pass through pretty quickly without our bodies extracting any nutrition. Yeah, uh, monkeys were outpacing apes by surviving on the equivalent of uh, crab babies and very green tomatoes. Crab babies. Yeah. The like, fuck are crab babies? Uh, crab apples. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> crab apples. Bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading in the dark here. All right. All right. <laughs> but uh, but apes had an edge of their own. They could digest or at least tolerate <clears throat> the ethanol in fruits that had ripened, uh, fallen from trees, and fermented on the forest floor. This gave them access to a food source of their own, and that um, 
often trailed further into the end of the growing season than the unboozy fruits. Nice. If only the alcohol consuming apes survived, this could be why humans can tolerate alcohol today. Okay. Uh, though there are uh, there are tiny apes, the gibbon at under twenty pounds, and large monkeys, uh, the mandrill, which goes up to eighty pounds. Apes are generally larger and require a lot more calories. Riper fruits, even fermented ones, have more uh, developed sugars and more digestible calories, making them a more energy dense food source. Low energy density is why the panda bear spends all day, every day, sitting still and continuing to grow on bamboo, or gnaw on bamboo just to survive. Well, you know, I think the panda bears are drunk, man. You see those motherfuckers are always rolling around, they dropping drunk, from trees yeah. and fucking shit. They, they look you drunk, know, but uh, they're having a good time, man. So the, the book's author stressed the role of alcohol in human social life over basically all of history. But alcohol tolerance has helped humans to survive in more direct ways, too. The fermented fruits consumed by long-ago apes likely had the same alcohol content as a small beer, a very lightly fermented beverage that people have consumed for thousands of years because of its reduced chance of waterborne illness. People have also relied on wine, and even children were giving one or the other as the safest beverage for many centuries. Sure. In the 1800s, distilled hard liquors became more available than ever before in the U.S., and you can imagine the system shock of switching from grazing on small beer all day to vodka or even (laughs) port. The rage of so-called intemperance was one of the long-term factors that led to the temperance movement. Quaker and abolitionist John Letson set out guidelines for temperance and intemperance alcohol at the turn of the 19th century. Small beer was the most temperate, listed alongside milk and water and showing how important small beer was to safe daily uh, hydration. Okay. Very important. Yes. You got to drink beer. You have to drink beer. Um, The fruit that apes were eating was probably 1% to 4% alcohol. Somewhere between small beer and Michelob Ultra. Today, although some animals accidentally eat fermented fruit, these stories are mostly myths. Except for your dog lapping beer out of a Frisbee on a hot summer day, which is very real. <laughs> the, uh, the African Manula fruit is uh, subject to many of these fun rumors. When in reality, it's humans who ferment the fruits into a beloved local beverage. Nice. But uh, if it wasn't for those apes, you know, look. We'd be straight at you. Listen, (laughs) we wouldn't be able to tolerate beer if it wasn't for the apes. No. I I know that some of you people out there believe that humans lived at the same time as dinosaurs and that we didn't evolve and all that other shit. Jesus ponies. But you people shouldn't be listening to our show anyway. No. Um, cause you don't believe in reality. No, you're living in some kind of weird <laughs> fictional fucking universe. Uh, the reality is if the fucking great apes didn't, you know, we, we could have actually not existed yes. if they would have died off. Yes. Right? And one of the ways that they survived was and outpaced the monkeys was by fermented sugars. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so alcohol is important. Yes. That's basically what we're saying. Yes. It's important, yes. and uh, you got to drink, man. Yeah, be- beer's always been like an important beverage throughout history. Beer, wine, I cider. Mean, where did IPAs come from? IPAs came from the British making them so they can drink them on the fucking eight-month trip to the fucking well, Far so East. That the, actually, it was so the beers would survive yes. the trip. Yeah, but also so they can drink them because, oh. you know, there's not a lot of water and shit to drink for eight months while you're out in the ocean. Yeah. You know? So, uh you want to take the next one? Sure. There you go. News by <laughs> Groby. Ah, <laughs> ah, fucking okay. <laughs> Amish teen facing drunk driving charges. All right. <laughs> State traffic and drinking and driving laws pertain to horses and buggies as well as motorized vehicles on public roads. A member of the Amish sect, Chris G. Kurtz, 18, was pulled over by a new Wilmington Borough policeman 
on a borough street during the early morning hours recently, and as a result is facing charges. According to a criminal complaint, an officer was on patrol around 1 a.m. November 19th and was in a parking lot on Nishanik Avenue when he saw the horse and buggy going west with its hazard lights lit solid and not flashing. Flashing lights are required during darkness or reduced visibility, he noted. An ornamental green light was also lit underneath the buggy. Yeah, the those fucking said. neons. Yeah, yeah. yeah those those fucking Amish fucking... kids bumping the neon yeah. underneath this fucking buggy, man. <laughs> the officer followed the buggy onto Pearson Street and initiated a traffic stop on Beechwood Road. Mm-hmm. So, so the fucking kid's trying to outrun him in a horse and buggy. <laughs> Where he determined that, that Kurtz had been drinking, the paperwork said. Kurtz had also had a case of beer and a full unopened can and another can and another open can inside of his buggy, the officer reported. <laughs> so, so he's driving down the road banging fucking cans of beer in his buggy. Nice. He reported that Kurtz who is younger than the legal drinking age, refused to take a field sobriety test. Of course he did. He don't know what the fuck this is. He's Amish. He don't even have electric. Yeah. Christ sakes. A family member was contacted to retrieve the horse and buggy, and Kurtz was arrested and taken to a a hospital for a blood alcohol test. I wonder how, how they were contacted. Yeah, I yeah, had, <laughs> they, they had to have sent somebody to their member. house. Yeah, they can't call. Yeah, them. yeah it's I'll drive out there to fucking you know see fucking Goody Kurtz go and see, fucking yeah, go see yeah. fucking Isaiah Kurtz. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, but he refused the test, and he was released to the to the family. Now, it, it doesn't say whether he was like charged with refusing. An alcohol test. I know in New Jersey that's a big thing. If you refuse right, that right, test, right. they fuck you anyway. Yeah. So course. it doesn't say they that they fucked him for refusing it. It just says he was charged Thursday with three counts of driving under the influence, including one as a minor, driving unsafe equipment, careless driving, and purchases of alcoholic beverages by a minor. He will be sent a summons to appear in court. Wow. So. Fucking Jebediah, the man. Fucking, yeah, Jebediah is off the fucking hook, man. You know. You know he's going to get fucking, he's going to get fucking shunned yes. or something. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to shun him. Yeah. They'll, they'll send him to the Ohio sect where, the, where, you know, where the problem people are. Yeah. You know, the ones that cut their beards and fight yeah, yeah. and they have gangs. They turn into Mennonites <laughs> yeah. and then they turn into fucking. Yeah. 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 So. Wow. Yeah. Well. Fucking rogue Amish. Yeah. Man, driving around drunk in his buggy. <laughs> it's about fucking time. One o'clock in the morning. See, if I had nothing to fucking... I didn't have electric or anything like that. And every fucking broad's wearing a big wool fucking skirt it in goes, the summertime. It goes back to the first story. Yeah. You gotta drink, man. Yes. You know? I'm not saying you should be out there fucking driving around. No. But, he, I mean, he's on a fucking horse and buggy. Yeah, Who's the, he gonna the, hurt? The, the, the horse and buggy's the fucking... The, the horse is nowhere to go. Yeah. Who's you he know? gonna hurt? Yeah. You know, I mean, look. I mean, the dude had a fucking police chase and a horse and buggy. <laughs> you know, and I'm guessing by these names, it's uh, you know the Amish country in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, the, no, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing by the names. Yeah. So, which is you know, right outside a little west of Philly. Yeah. You know, you got motherfuckers driving around fucking drunk with fucking horses and buggies. Yeah. So. It's funny when you drive down there and it's at night and you got the fucking horse and buggy yeah. crossing signs and shit. You're I think like, that was oh, cool. Fuck. He had the fuck. He was bumping the green light. I wonder if yeah. he had. It doesn't say he had tunes going. Yeah, I bet the, you he did. I bet you he had tunes yeah. going. Too. I, yeah, he's probably he's fucking, like, fucking. Probably had the Beastie Boys fucking wailing. Yeah, you got to fight fucking, for your right to yeah, party. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, he's listening to Check Your Head. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so. That's funny stuff, man. Yeah. All right. Any uh, tales from Grubbyville? Well, I don't know. We got the holidays coming up, man. We do, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I don't like these times of the year. No? No. You know, I mean, you got people that sit in the house all year. Then the holidays come and they invite their families over. Now, all, the, all of a sudden, these motherfuckers got to go to the liquor store. Oh, yeah. You know? And, you know, when you, have a, when you, when you only go to the liquor store like two fucking times a year, you're a problem. Right. Because you clog the whole fucking system up. Now, when you you, know, you get Thanksgiving, you get Christmas, you got fucking New Year's, you got all this other fucking shit. Yeah. Now you got these motherfuckers in there. They drink wine once a year. 
They don't know what the fuck they're drinking. And they stand there for 20 minutes. They're in fucking line. They don't know how to pay. They don't know what the fuck's going on. And they're just a fucking problem. You know, send your drunken fucking brother-in-law. Just tell him to get there a day early. Give him a list and send him to the liquor store. He'll be in and out in 10 minutes. Right. He knows you, what he's doing. Yes, you fucking people are just playing your problems, man. Yeah. You know, I, I, I go to get fucking, I go to get beer. It shouldn't take me a half an hour. No. Well, you idiots standing there fucking look, look, you know. You have cheap wine, you have medium wine, you have expensive wine. You're not looking at the expensive wine. (laughs) You're looking at the medium fucking wine. It shouldn't take you half an hour to decide what four fucking bottles you're going to buy for your relatives you don't like. Right. You know. My thing is, Shopperay Liquors should just put a fucking skid of fucking Manischewitz Concord grape fucking wine out in front of the fucking place and a skid of fucking 12 packs of Budweiser cans. And then when the people walk up and they say, "Have you? How many times have you been here this year?" And they're like, "Oh, you know, we were here on like you know last Christmas." Well, okay, that, that's your section. Yes, here's your bottle of fucking Manischewitz, fucking Concord grape wine, and your twelve pack of fucking Bud cans. Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need to come in here. Just yeah. just buy this shit and go. Have a separate fucking line for yes. regulars. Yeah. Exactly. And then, and yeah. For the for the fucking yeah. You know the yahoos. Yes, they th- they should have a you scan it line for regulars. And then I we know how much the shit cost. Yeah. <laughs> we, and we go in, we grab our shit, yeah. we get the fuck out. Yeah. We say hi, Todd. They yeah. know we, they know our names. Yeah. We know theirs. We get the fuck out. Yeah. And you know I was in there, uh, you know Thanksgiving, and they're like fucking people are fucking the, the store's fucking packed. Yeah. And, and, like, people are getting mad because there's a line. I'm like, well, why didn't you fucking come here fucking Tuesday night? Yes. Well, you wait until fucking Thanksgiving. Yes. You well, you got, well, you got my buddy Mike. He goes and he buys his box of fucking Alma Den every day at fucking shop, right? So he goes in there fucking, you know, fucking before Thanksgiving. And he's like, I was at the liquor store for 45 minutes. Yeah, he wants to he get goes, in and out. He goes, I was standing in line for 20 minutes and I realized, <laughs> fuck, there's, there's, there's all these idiots here. I better buy two boxes. He wants so, it. so he bought two boxes. Of wine, he know? wants fucking in and out, man. Yes. That's uh, what he's used to, man. He goes yeah. in, gets his box of wine, his pack of butts, and he's in and out in five minutes. And I know Mike. Man. Yes. He does. I don't know him well, but I met Mike. Yeah. He's one of these. He doesn't. He's not. No. He's not ready for change. No, he's not in a hurry either. No. <laughs> but when you're standing there in front of him for half yeah. an hour, he but, he gets pissed. And he's but he's not accustomed to things changing. <laughs> no. He wants everything to be the same. He <laughs> yes. eats the same food. Yes, eleven o'clock the, in the morning he goes to the liquor store for his pack of butts and his box of fucking yeah, wine. It's just you know. <laughs> yeah. Has the same thing for breakfast every day. Yes, he same does. Same thing for dinner. Yes. Drinks the same wine, yep. listens to the same music. Yep. And uh, although he's listening to the meteors <laughs> he li- now. He likes the meteors he's now. Like, oh, this? <laughs> because he had to spend an hour and a half with me in my car. So now he likes the meteors. <laughs> Wait till you tell him they do a fucking killer version of Bad Moon Rising. He's okay. Like, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but yeah, you know, and you, you, you got locals that need to be mm-hmm. taken care of, right? And you yahoos that don't yeah. fuck it. You just drink it for the holidays. You're going, oh, I don't know what to get them. Just yeah. grab the shit. Yeah. Grab a fucking bottle and go. Yeah. Or here's an idea. Just tell everybody to bring what they're drinking. Then you don't have to go to the fucking liquor store and annoy the shit out of people. You don't like your fucking relatives anyway. <laughs> yes. You're going to get together. Yeah. Everything's going to be fine. And then you're all going to start fucking opening up these bottles. And yes. the next thing you know, you're fucking arguing about Trump well, and fucking. Well, that was my thing. I'm like, you know, these people are spending a half an hour trying to pick out booze for people they don't like. Right. Who gives a fuck? Right. Buy them a, buy them a bottle of fucking barefoot fucking cab and be done with it. <laughs> there you go. Spend your five dollars and be fucking out the door. Yeah, you know, get him a fucking twelve pack of fucking high life. I agree. You know, I agree. You know, you don't have to stand there. What beer is good? <laughs> Fuck hey, them. And if anybody you know? wants to buy me a twelve pack of high life for the fucking holidays, I'm fucking fine with <laughs> I'll that. I'll take it. That's yeah. probably what I'll get. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know. I like when they do the the on New Year's when they come out with the champagne size bottles. Yeah, those are fucking cute. Yeah. So yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a, gladly take a fucking twelve pack of fucking high life. Sure, conditions. man. Sure. Probably be the best thing I get. High life, used to, <laughs> high life used to be my go-to, man. Yeah, 
now since we started this show i've been on this fucking beer nazi trip and yeah i'm like, like <laughs> i still drink all that shit i, I do too i man. drink my pbrs i still drink like my fucking, pbrs my high lives yep, my yinglings yep yeah any chance i can get fucking daddy bows i grab them that's yep. why i fucking i really want some old style man yeah, that's what so, i said the show's not about beer it's yeah. about drinking yeah we so like fuck, it all, man. So Full Metal Mexican, man, give me a good Christmas, buddy. Send me a case of fucking old style, yes. man. <laughs> we get some old style out here. Shoot us an email, Full yeah. Metal Mexican, and give, yeah. we'll give you the address. Yes. You shoot us some fucking old style. <laughs> yep. And since you're trying to learn more about beer, man, we'll introduce you to some good Chicago beers yeah. that aren't old style. Yes. But, you know, yeah. kick down the old yeah. style. Yeah. Like the one we did today, man. Look that yeah. one up, man. Oh, yeah, man. The fucking yeah, yeah. Pipeworks Brewing Company, yeah. brother. It's all, most of their beers have this fucking unicorn theme going on. Yeah. Man. And uh, it's cool shit. Yep. I don't know what, I don't know what the fucking deal is with the unicorn. <laughs> Who but knows? Fuck it. <laughs> it's cool. Hey, beer's good. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Kids are coming home. Oh, they are? Both of them? Both of them. Here's the deal. No nice. Fucking assholes. Good for you, brother. Charlie's coming home on Christmas Eve, so I got to go pick him up at the no. fucking airport. Oh, yeah. No. Aubrey's going to bag you Christmas morning and shit. Christmas afternoon. Oh, fuck. And I got to go back <laughs> Christmas afternoon to pick her up. You know what you did? You said you you Charlie. Better. It you gets said better. Charlie Christmas it gets afternoon. It gets better. I want my fucking car back in one piece. It gets better. <laughs> Those two will be drunk somewhere. It gets better. <laughs> So he gets in fucking Christmas Eve. She gets in Christmas. Like three days later, his fucking girlfriend is flying in. <laughs> so we they got to go, go back. We got to go fucking pick her up, too. <laughs> and then she's only here for like two days. And then we got to take her back to the fucking airport. So uh, she's get a room by the airport. But man. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is the this is a big deal. This is the first. It's the official one. This is the first girlfriend. Okay. This is the first that he, that he's bringing home to mom and dad. Coming home to mom and dad. Okay. So you know, okay. we'll, we'll see. She even she posted a video yeah. the other day of uh, Thor meeting daddy for the first time. Uh, they, they adopted a little pit bull. Okay. Is the dog coming? I don't think the dog's coming. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That'll be interesting. You sure? And fucking Uncle Rogers may Uncle not know Rogers what to do. Uncle Rogers will be like, oh. What's going on here? <laughs> this is my shit. My house, you know. <laughs> Cats will be staring at the fucking dog. Rogers will be like. <laughs> Santa Paws brought this for me. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we're going to have all the kids home for Christmas. It's going to be fucking good times, man. We're cool. looking forward to it. Mommy's definitely. Mama's happy. Yeah. She's going to have her kids home. You know, Charlie called me. He's like, you think mom would be pissed if I only came home for a few days? I'm like, yeah, because he was thinking of just maybe coming home for like three days. I'm like, I don't talk to your fucking mom, dude. Ask her. I'm like, (laughs) but do what you got to do. Yeah. You know, don't fucking stress your life out to make your fucking parents happy. You no, notice, man. We, we, we <laughs> yeah. never did that. No, you, you're, you're off on your own, man. Yeah. You know, like, you know, we'd it's love your own to, life, man. We'd love to have you home. Yeah. But fucking don't, uh, yeah. don't fucking yeah, stress you, yourself yeah. out. Yeah, about you can't this make shit, it dude. call Christmas morning. I love you. It's great. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, Merry Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but he talked to her and then he called back. He's like, all right, I'm coming in Christmas Eve. And, you know, it's like, fucking, dude. We're not going to fucking see you anyway. Yeah. You're out fucking running around. You're sure. Fu- your buddy's getting married. You're going to that. That's why yeah. his girlfriend's coming back. Yeah. They're going to his buddy's wedding. Yeah. You know? Hey, congratulations, Tyler. Good year on your fucking yeah. wedding. Yeah. He'll wedding. be here a week. You'll see him a day and a half. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it'll be in a car going back and forth to the airport. <laughs> no, he I'm sure he'll come over here, get on the mic, sit yeah. here, fucking, yeah. he loves Tom. Yeah. You know? And he's like, I, I don't see Tom, but... <laughs> You know, I'm looking forward to meeting his girlfriend, too. Yes. You know, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, we'll get both the kids over here. Yeah. Yeah. Get you fucking know. Aubrey over here, I'll too. get my we'll slacker get daughter, slacker over, daughter here. over here. We'll yeah. have all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get them on the show. Yeah, definitely. She'll yeah. bring us some booze from her. Hopefully. Yeah, I can tell there. her. I'm going to see her Christmas Eve. That's the only there time I plan on seeing my daughter. What are you doing Christmas? Um, uh, Right now, my plan is to make carne asada tacos and... uh. Probably watch movies and get stoned and drink beer. All right. Well. <laughs> By myself. <laughs> so. 
Well, because the kid, because my daughter was like, are you going to sit home Christmas by yourself? I said, yeah, why? You want to come over for carne asada tacos? She's like, why are you going to do this on Christmas? I was like, why do I got to do what? Make weird food. I was like, I don't want the whole fucking same shit I've been eating for 50 fucking years. Man. Well, I was like, I'll make, know. I'll make some fucking tamales. That's yeah. Christmas food. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, you know, I was going to invite you over for Christmas, but. Now that I know I got to go fucking pick my daughter up at 430 in the afternoon, Man. I don't want to hang out with you because we'll start drinking at fucking noon. <laughs> That's okay. Usually Christmas, I'm up. Hey, man, you can always go pick her up and come here. I'll have fucking yeah. carne asada tacos. Well, uh, mama, your, do- your daughter ain't eating them. Laura ain't eating them. Mama wants her daughter at home, so <laughs> yeah. we'll have... You we'll, and Charlie would eat them. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have the... Uh, yeah, we'll... we'll but we'll fucking and then we got yeah. New Year's. You yeah, know, I think my son will be gone before New Year's. My daughter's staying until the fifth of January. Okay, so you know, yeah. So that's my plan. I'm just gonna be sitting here eating tacos. Man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas gotta, Eve, I'll be down with my brothers with her and the rest of the family. See, I'll drop some tamales off yeah. for you, man. I'll make it. That, that's like a, that's a yeah. that's a California Christmas thing. Man. Yeah, tamales I, like. I think my nephew will be out from San Diego. So nice. he's so he's gonna so I, I'm gonna make ceviche, cool. Because that's what he said. If I come out, Uncle Tom better make that fucking ceviche. Nice. So I'll be making that, and you know, well, I'm gonna have my you know, we're gonna have my brothers, and I'll get all tuned up and make the kid drive home. All right, and that'll be it. That'll be my Christmas, and then Christmas I'll just hang out. So yeah, well, thanks Thanksgiving. I fucking sat around. I made fucking venison cabbage rolls. <laughs> Everybody else is eating turkey. I'm making, I'm making venison cabbage rolls and fucking falafel. <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Christmas and Jesus and shit, um, I was watching that dumb show. Uh, the fuck is it? The world's dumbest drivers. Oh, okay. You know, and uh, they showed a great thing today, man. And, and I couldn't do it on drunk news because it's from, it's probably like fucking ten years old. Yeah. You know, but uh, so watching that show today. And a seven-year-old kid <laughs> steals his dad's car okay. and fucking gets in it and fucking drives. <laughs> Takes keys, gets in the car, starts driving down the fucking road like like a seven-year-old would. <laughs> yeah, this fucking, you know, fucking big wheel. Here's the fucking thing. It's Sunday morning. He fucking you know cops get him he stops he gets out of the car takes off running crying seven years old why did he steal the car because he didn't want to go to fucking church (laughs) i'm gonna see me and my brothers doing that shit man i'm like i love this kid yes Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not going. I ain't going. I'll no steal the motherfucking car and yeah. away. <laughs> he just figures I'll just get in the car. Kid's seven. You know, there's no such thing as consequences. Or yeah, anything. they ain't going like, to do that, shit to him. They're never going to know. I'm yeah. just going to get in the car. I'll be good. They'll go to church. <laughs> <laughs> fucking awesome. That's fucking great. I love Look, that shit. I, lo- I like Christmas. I'm yeah. not a, you know, I'm not a Christian. So, yeah. I, you know, sometimes I'll put up a fucking... I, Put up a tree. I'm a I'm, I'm a Christmas hypocrite, man. I put up a fucking I put up a fucking fake tree because Laura's fucking allergic to fucking pine, so we put up a fake tree, and I'll put up a menorah, and I'll put up a fucking you know what other other religious bullshit a Yule log and like you know, yeah. And I was like you know when the kids were little I was like every year we should just celebrate a different thing. Yeah. You know, because, you know, you know, I'm not Jewish. I can't celebrate Hanukkah. I'm not fucking Christian and I celebrate Christmas. Yeah, Why not just, put it all up? Just put you know? it all up. Man. Put it all up. Yeah. Fucking, I love fucking the whole family thing and the yeah. fucking, you know, gifts and the fuck. I really like the gifts. Yeah. I get a lot of cool Raiders shit on yeah. fucking. Yeah. And I get a lot of cool beer. Yeah. Always get I don't get a lot of cool shit anymore. Now that I'm ah. divorced, I don't get a lot of cool. Only one person buys me presents. So. Ah. <laughs> but. But. I love the shit. Yeah. I have a good time. I get all, you know, it's not as cool to me as Halloween. No, I, no, I'm, I'm more a Halloween person. Yeah. You know, that but I like, the, I like the family. But I decorate my house it. for Halloween. The fucking probably by the next show when you come in, there's going to be a fucking Christmas tree here in the bar. I buy there a little go. small yeah. one. Yeah. You know, and you know, 
Laura won't be able to come over because now it'll be now. I'm gonna buy one of those twenty dollar little small ones from Weiss. Yeah, she won't put be that able, on the fucking bar. And, she won't you know. be able to come over because it's yeah. Fucking the pine will get her all <laughs> fucked up. But <laughs> we used to have, you know, we used to always get a tree. Yeah, and then she, you know, and then she was always getting sick, and then we realized oh, uh. it's this fucking tree. Yeah, I um, remember one year when I was renovating when I. I was married and everything. We were living down in Susquehanna. I was, we were renovating the house. And it came up to the holidays. And there was like this old closet. And, you know, it had like a wall between that we were ripping out. And I ripped out the front of the closet. So we just had a wall. And Christmas was coming up. And, you know, the kids were like, I, you know, where are we going to put the Christmas tree? This and that. You guys torn everything up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so Mary and my ex-wife's like, I'm going to paint a tree in the corner. <laughs> So she comes, comes up with all this spray paint. So she spray paints a fucking tree in the fucking corner. So she spray paints a tree on the wall. And I'm like, well, it doesn't have ornaments. So we can so get the ornaments. I get out the staple gun. And we're like, boom, boom. We fucking stapled fucking ornaments to the fucking painted tree on the fucking wall. And then we just pile all our fucking presents against the fucking in the corner. And my buddy Mike. Rest in peace, Wiser. He comes up and he walks in the front door. I, it was like it, the day before Christmas Eve. Walks in the front door. He shuts the door. He looks at it. He looks at me and her. He goes, you two really are fucking Pollocks, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> we started fucking laughing. He's like, never in my life have I ever seen anybody fucking paint a tree on the wall and staple fucking ornaments to the fucking wall. I was like, well... You know, right up to Christmas, we're tearing down the wall. We don't have room for a tree. You know, everything's in fucking wrecked, you know, because I'm ripping fucking walls out and shit. So, you know, nice. walls get tearing down anyway. So on that just, note, just paint the fucking tree on the wall. <laughs> on that note, let's take a break. We'll okay. come back and close out the show. All right. Oh, I hope and I get a thing in. Alice kids, we go by like Christmas time in our house. We can't even afford a fire, but we made do in our house back then when I was young. Dad used to suck a peppermint, I would all sit round his tongue. We couldn't afford no tinsel on our Christmas tree, so we just with old granddad in a make the old cunt sneeze. <laughs> we didn't round the other side, Granny. <laughs> Well, things change so bloody fast, I've got children now me own. Now I heard them unwrap their presents last night when I got home. Santa Claus, you can't wear my fucking mind. I'm unwrapped all this other gun here, knowing what I like. I'm about to fucking get around, I'm going to see a swipe. You jerry ass, you wank, I wear my fucking mind. If I wanted a pair of fucking
All right, that was the UK subs. All right. Hey, Santa. <laughs> See, we're throwing fucking Christmas music at you already. That's right. <laughs> Maybe next week we'll have some King Diamond. Yeah. No presents for Christmas. That's right. <laughs> um, I gotta. I before we go. Okay. I have a fucking another. I have. I have a, a splatterhead rant. Uh, okay. If listen, anybody listening out there, um, if if you or I have had a personal falling out in history. <laughs> And you would like to make amends. Um, you know, you start the fucking conversation out with, hey, man, you know, I know we had a falling out. Um, you know, I apologize for slighting you or whatever. If you think I did you wrong, yeah. you know, say, hey, this is why, you know, I think that you were in the wrong, you know, blah 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 yeah and uh and maybe we can squash shit you know and it, and if you really want to squash shit you know fess up to your fucking errors sure. or fucking call me out on mine mm-hmm. okay that's and then, the way it should be then we can discuss shit. yeah we'll break beers and discuss it but if we've had a falling out and uh you you just send me a fucking message saying hey bro can we just be friends again no. That's not how it fucking works, no, bro. No, that's not how it works, man. You have that's, to sit down for a couple of beers and discuss the yeah. shit. Yeah, you know, before I, you're friends again. I got a fucking message from a guy that we had a, you know, we had a falling out. Yeah. You know? I feel as though he did me wrong. I don't fucking... Look, here's the way I am. And this is why... And I'll fucking call you out by name. This is why I don't fucking talk to Just Win Johnny. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a fucking dickhead. <laughs> I don't talk to you. Yes. I don't deal with you. You're a fucking lunatic. Yes. You fucking. I. I never did any fucking thing wrong to you. Never fucking. You know. I. I fucking called you out on some shit. None and, of us did. And you didn't fucking like it. Yeah. Okay. Fine. You don't have to like it. No. Don't don't go around fucking telling people I'm gonna fucking fight them and fucking beat them up because yeah. I'm I don't give a fuck about your shit, dude. Yeah. So that, I'm we, on your side with this, man. So that's why <laughs> that's why I don't fuck with you. Yes. Okay. And then and then for you to fucking say I came at you fucking sideways. No, bro. <laughs> I came at you fucking straight up. I told you yes. here's here's the fucking deal, dude. Keep yeah. my fucking name out of your shit. Yes. I don't give a fuck about who you're fighting with or who you're fucking arguing with. Yeah. We were good to you, put you on the fucking show, got your press passes, fucking, you know, let yeah. you do fucking interviews, had fucking artwork. From, we had no fucking issues with you, no. except you turned into a fucking lunatic. Yeah. Out of the fucking yes. blue, yes. texting people at three o'clock in the fucking morning. <laughs> for, the record, fucking, for the record, for the record, I'm on Splatterhead's side with this one because I caught... A bunch of this shit, and I fucking didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. none of us did none, anything. Nobody did anything to you. You're a fucking, you're yeah. a fucking psychopath. Yeah. All right, but you're not a psychopath. You're a fucking, you, you're a fucking weirdo, fucking punk. Yeah. And look, you, 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 you fucking met me personally. You've met fucking Groby personally. You've met Fitz personally. You ain't gonna fucking talk any shit. To our fucking faces. No, you're not. It's all fucking bullshit no. over your fucking text fucking messages yeah. and blah, blah, blah. We don't... Look, I don't give a fuck about you. I'm not fucking coming out to get you. I'm not wasting any fucking energy on you. But I'm, I'm calling it out right now. You're a fucking punk ass bitch. Seriously. <laughs> okay. But a guy like that, yeah. okay, if he wants to fucking, you know, make amends... There's a fucking way to do it. Yes. You fucking call. You, hey, dude, I was fucking wrong. Yeah. And, you know, I fucked up. Yeah. And let, cool. I'll fucking hear you out. Yeah. We'll sit down. We'll fucking break bread. Yeah. We'll fucking, and, and cool. Yeah. Okay. I get a fucking message from another fucking lunatic that fucking, look, dude, you landed on the fucking wrong side of me. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And you going to fucking message me fucking five years later. Yeah. Hey, let's be friends. Fuck you. No. No. Let's be friends. I don't give fucking people... You fuck up once. Yeah. You know, you lie to me once. You fucking drag my name through the mud once. 
you fucking land on the wrong side of a fucking serious issue with me once. Yeah. Why do I think you're going to change? You're not. Yeah. You, 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 you know. Seven times out of ten, they don't. No. So you're done. Yeah. You know, you get one fucking shot. Yeah. You fuck up, you're fucking done. Yeah, be sincere, man. You, you, you want to fucking bury the hatchet, man. You got to be sincere about it. Right. You can't just, oh, this shit, yeah, to dude, fucking I've, just, you know, just you know, get back in the fold. I've had these fucking assholes, like, you fucking know? decide to get sober and fucking join AA. And then I get fucking random, fuck, because it's one of their steps. Yeah. They got to apologize to people that fucking, I'm not part of your fucking program. No. So if you're going to apologize to me for something, cool. It's got to come from your fucking heart. You yeah. got to be honest about it. You, and you can't just say, hey, man, I'm sorry. Um, let's. No. Sorry for what? Admit to what you fucking did. Yeah. Admit, it just, you fess up, man. Admit to your fucking faults. It's not going to kill fucking, you. Right. Say what you did. Tell me what you did wrong. And tell me why you're apologizing. Don't yeah. just say, hey, let's just be friends. Fuck you. No. So, you know, Danny Hamill, fucking, you fucking, I let you fucking, I let you pet my fucking dog. <laughs> I let you sleep in my fucking house. I let you hang out with my dog. I fucking gave you money when you didn't have any fucking money for food in the city. Drag you around, fucking hang out. Because why? Because you were my friend and that's the way I do people. Yeah. Did he give Rogers bones? He didn't give Rogers bones. He didn't have any fight. The, the kid's got fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I did you right because you were fucking, you, you were part of the crew. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? You fucked up. You landed on the wrong side of shit and you chose the wrong fucking side to be on. Yes. Now you want to, you just want to be friends. This one. Hey, fuck it. Nothing ever happened. No, fuck you. Yeah. And you know what? You got enough friends. I got enough friends. Got enough friends. I'm not out here begging for fucking friends, <laughs> that man. That aren't fucking you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know? So, no. We can't just be friends. No. We can't just bury the hatchet. No. You want to fess up, you want to fucking, you, you know, then cool. But yeah. that's my rant, man. If you have, a, if you, if you have issues with people and, and, and shit went south, whatever, mm-hmm. you, you can't just be friends. No. You have to, you have to fucking. You have to discuss it and hash it out. You man. either have to call them out on their shit if yeah. you felt like you were slighted, or yeah. you have to let them fucking, you yes. know, or you or you gotta admit that you were in the fucking wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. And you gotta be sincere about it. You and can't you just can't, can't just admit the shit and then fucking continue no. on how like you were. No. No. Yeah. But, yeah. You have you have to be sincere about it and show that you know you're not an asshole anymore. Right. You know, but I, you know, that's that's my fucking rant. Okay. <laughs> and fuck you, Johnny. I was wondering where that. <laughs> I was wondering where that fucking thing came out yeah, of nowhere well, last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, fuck that guy. He's a douchebag. Yeah. So. I hope you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. He probably is. Yeah. Fucking punk. <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking loser. Merry I'm Christmas. Get you a fucking tinfoil hat for Christmas. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Stay off the fucking Molly, you dumbass. Exactly. You're a fucking grown ass man. That's what I think it was. It was a Molly, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> fucking doing Molly by yourself, you fucking weirdo. You're fucking <laughs> almost 50 years old. All right, you've been listening to a Neighbor Nation. <laughs> On the Crow's Nest Podcast Network. On the Crow's Nest Podcast Network. <laughs> Home of Just Win Fucking Johnny. Yeah, fucking One Nation fanware. Yeah. <laughs> make make some fucking Yankee shit. <laughs> You're a Yankee fan. Fuck, make some Yankee shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll close it out with some fucking music. Okay. By the fucking way. <laughs> yeah, we started drinking a new beer. Before yeah. Splatterhead went on his rant. Yeah. We are drinking from Warebacker Brewing Company in Easton, Pennsylvania. Uh, an American ale called Dallas Sucks. <laughs> and they do. And they do. As Raiders fans, you know, those Giants fans out there, everybody's fans out there. We all know Dallas fucking sucks. 
There you go. As for this beer, it's pretty fucking good. It is, man. <laughs> this is a good drink of fucking beer for when you're watching the Dallas Cowboys get their fucking asses handed to them. Fuck them. Dallas sucks. Good beer. Great job, Wearbacker. Cheers. Cheers. Neighbor Nation. <laughs>